Welcome to this cardio workout. We are starting off with a warm up of side step pulls. Your core is tight and you're just stepping from side to side. This cardio workout is really good if you need to get fit, lose some fat, but you don't want to kill yourself in the process. Good job. You're going to just pretend you're pulling something from the ceiling and raise your knee as high as you can. Make sure your core is tight. That's what's going to help you maintain your balance. You're doing good. I'm going to be here with you throughout the whole workout. We are doing this together. I'm here for you. I know you got this. Next up, we have Macarena. Core is tight and you're just rolling your waist all sexy like. <laughs> Good job, keep going. This is really good to warm up your waist area, your hip area so you're mobile and you can move easily. I like it, you're doing good. Let's do some high reaches. You're just pulling from side to side. Keep that core tight the whole time. Good. This is going to be a really, really good workout. You're going to be glad when you finish. I promise. Okay, we're going to go back to those side step pulls. Just step from side to side. Pull from the ceiling. Your body should be warm. Your heart should be pounding. And just go at your own pace. There is no competition. You're moving. You are working out. And that is awesome. So just keep going. And finally, we're going to do high pulls again. You're going to pull something from the ceiling, raising your leg at the same time, keeping your core tight and just feeling good because you're a 10, 10 over 10. Perfect work. Okay, let's get straight into it. The first workout is going to be step jacks. You're stepping from side to side as fast as you can. Your core is tight and you're waving your arms wildly, waving for help. Help me, help me. That's what it's going to look like when you're doing this. Good, you're doing good. Keep going. You got just 30 seconds to do this and then we move on. Remember to keep that core tight as you step. Good. You're doing you're doing it. You're doing it right. Straight into knee to elbows. This is a preview. Core is tight and you're just touching your opposite knee to your opposite elbow. This is great for your abs, but it also raises your heart rate to help you burn fat. This is a cardio workout, remember? Let's get into it. Pow, pow. Wow, you're killing it. Keep going. You got this. You did it. You did it. Let's go into sumo reaches. You are in a squat position. Your core is tight and you're just snatching things left and right. The key here is to try to stay in that squat position. Keep that core tight and just snatch, 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 snatch. If you get tired, you can stand up and just go right back into it. Good job. Keep going. Go at your own pace. You're doing good. Just a couple more. Perfect work. Oh, I'm so proud. We're going to march steps. You're going to raise your knee as high as you can. Just pretend you're marching in a band. That's what you're doing here. Core is tight and you're going at your own pace. I'm going to be going at a moderate pace. You can go faster or slower depending on how you're feeling.
good job. Keep going. This is so good. Just pretend you're marching in a band. I like what you're doing. Let's do some lunges. Core is tight and you're just stepping as far forward as you can. I'm pushing back with that leg that you stepped out with. Keep your core tight. Do this slowly. And once you have a good rhythm, you can pick up your pace if you can. Let's do it together. Oh, you're doing so good. After this, you have one exercise left and then you get a break. Almost at the break. You made it to the break. I'm so proud of you. Good. Last exercise for the break is Kyle Freezes. You're going to go on your tiptoes, keeping your core tight. Stay on your tiptoes as long as you can and then release. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. You got this. You could do this. Let's do it together. This is a really good exercise for the back of your legs and the back of your thighs. And it's also a good cardio uh, exercise to do when you're exhausted and you just want to rest. So this is a perfect exercise to do before the break. Just do your best and then take a full minute to rest. You can raise your hands if you're feeling fancy, or you can keep your hands down. It's totally up to you. Good job. All right, take a full minute to rest, drink some water, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It's totally free for you, and it means so much to me. And follow me on Instagram if you haven't done so already, and I'll be back after the break to walk you through the rest of this workout. Welcome back. We are going straight into short squats. This is like a sumo squat with your legs nice and wide and you're squatting, but you're not going all the way down. You can put a little attitude in it. You can have a little fun with this. The most important thing is to keep your core tight. Pretend you're sitting back into a chair, but don't go very low. Just keep it simple. Keep it short so you can do it quick. We're going for speed here. So go at your own pace, but go as fast as you can. Good job. That was awesome. All right, let's go into the boxer shuffle. Your court is tight and you're just shuffling from side to side like Muhammad Ali. Go as fast as you can. Go for speed here. Go at your own pace, but challenge yourself just a little bit. Push yourself just a little bit. Are you ready? Let's do it. Make sure that core is tight. Good. You look good. You look good already. You can add in your arms to burn a little bit more calories. Just keep moving. It's all you got to do. Just keep moving. You're doing so good. We're going to do a squat and punch next. You're, you're in that high squat position and you're going to punch about five times. You're going to stand up. You're going to go back into the squat and you're going to start punching again. This one's actually kind of fun. It's like a little dance. Punch, 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 punch. Stand up. Go back down. Punch, 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 punch. Stand up. Go back down. You got it? Let's keep going. 
Don't worry about keeping up with my own pace. Go at your own pace. That's all that matters. You are your own competition here. Good job. Okay, we're going to do butt kick squats. You're going to go into a deep squat and then try to touch your heel to your booty. If your heel can't touch your booty, that's fine. Just go into a deep squat and raise a leg. You're moving. That's all that matters. Keep going. Let's do it together. Keep that core tight. It's going to help you maintain your balance. Good job. Really control this movement as best you can. Oh, you're doing so good. Just a few more. Perfect. Now we're going to do side steps. You're going to go side to side, waving your arms. Really try to pull your arms back and then pull them forward and take big steps from side to side. And as usual, that core is tight. Good. I want to see you doing big movements. Your arms are going big. Your legs are going wide. Your core is tight. You are everywhere. Good. All right. Last exercise before your break. Arm circles with a march. Your core is tight. You're just marching and you're rotating your arms at the same time. This is burning fat all over the place, toning your arms, toning your legs. This is doing all the things. It is so good. After this, you get a break. You might be exhausted. Just keep moving. Go at your own pace. I'm here for you and you can do this. Keep going. Raise those legs. Raise those legs. Good job. You made it to the break. You made it. All right, take another minute to rest. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It's free for you and it means so much to me. Follow me on Instagram, drink some water, pat yourself on the back. You're doing so good. And after the break, we're going to do our last round. This is our last round. You are doing so good. I'm so proud of you. Welcome back. This is your last round. We are starting off with knee to elbows. Your core is tight and you're just trying to touch your knees to your elbows. Let's do it together. All right, I know, I know. This is the last set. You got this. Just keep moving. Just keep going. You can do this. more than halfway through this move. You're doing good. Perfect. Okay, let's move on. Short squats. These are like squats, except you're not going all the way down. You're just going just a little bit down. You get it? And your core is tight. You're pretending to sit back into a chair and you're just going at your own pace. You don't need to go too fast or too slow. You're just trying to make it to the end. Let's go. You're looking good. Keep going. Keep going. 
keep that cord tight. Good job. Okay, let's go into call phrases. You've done this before. Your core is tight and you're just going on your tippy toes. You're going to hold for as long as you can and then you're just going to go back to the floor and then get back on those tippy toes. You can hold your hands in front of you. You can hold them on your waist, whatever feels comfortable for you. Just keep getting on your tiptoes. Good job. Oh, you're doing so good. You're almost at the end. Keep pushing, just three more moves. Butt kick squats, you're gonna go into a squat, core is tight, and you're gonna come up and try to touch your heel to your booty. If you don't wanna do the whole movement, just do a regular squat. I just want you to keep moving because you got this. Let's do it. You're doing it, you're doing it, you're almost at the end. I'm here for you, and you got this. Go at your own pace. Give me one more. Good job. Oh my God, you're amazing. March steps. Pretend you are in a band and you're giving it everything you've got. Keep that core tight. Raise your arms. Raise your legs. You are at the finish line. Let's do it together. Oh yes, there is nothing stopping you. You are making it to the end. You should be feeling so good. You are doing this. Last move, side steps. Just go side to side, big steps, big motion with your arms. If you're too tired, don't do the arm motion. But if you got it in you, put those arms in and let's, let's just get it done. 30 seconds of this. Can you? I know you can. Let's do it. Keep going, keep going. I am so proud of you, keep going. Yes, you did it, you, you did that. Let's go ahead and stretch a little bit. We're gonna start with stretching out that neck. Just a slight bend to the side. You can use your hand to support your head. When you feel good, go ahead and switch to the other side and just gently stretch that neck out. Release all the tension. You did it. Let's stretch out your shoulders and your arms. Just cross that across your, cross your arm, across your chest. Let your heart rate come down. You worked out today. I am so proud. Shake it out, switch hands, do the same thing on the other side. All right, let's stretch out those triceps, all those arm motions. Oh my goodness, just gently. Let's not be too, just gently, good. Shake it out, switch arms, and just stretch out the back of your arm. You're going to just hug your knee to your chest to stretch out your hip a little bit. Rotate your feet if you want to. Do what feels good to your body. Go ahead and switch legs. You can hold onto a chair or the wall if you need to. This really stretches out your hips. 
hold your your heel toward your booty stretch out the front of your thigh all those squats you did you did amazing today switch legs when you're ready and do the same thing on the other side Finally, I just want you to keep your core tight and do a forward bend. This really stretches out the back of your thighs, your booty, and it's a really good way to, to cool down. Go at your own pace. I am so proud of you. You worked out today and that is a big deal. Good job. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in my next workout video.